So for some of you who have experienced a similar thing, come to our office, come and work with them. We are still working on other members of these syndicates that are still at large, but we have this one with us. And those who actually patronize them, the, the, the big businessmen that patronize them, well, they are still, we will soon get them one after the other. They can go. The next case is the case of harmed arrest of arms robbery syndicate. I have 16 of them. This is another very funny case. Here we have 16 suspects. We have been able to recover 8 motorcycles and 11 tricycles. Keken Ape. Working on credible Intelligence operatives of the IR team made the arrest of 15 suspects who all constituted a notorious syndicate of robbers specialized in the theft and robbery of motorcycles and tricycles. The first four members of the syndicate, Slaiman Mohammed, Abaka Salisu, let us stand up please, Jerry Irimia, and Adam Mohammed, a resident of just not local government area in Plateau State. Francis. These suspects are particularly involved in moving around at late night and picking up any tricycle they see parked without supervision. They also move around stopping motorcyclists they see on the road, parading themselves as police officers with fake ID cards and accusing the motorists of late night movement. Proceeding to confiscate their bikes and telling them to go to any division nearest to them to retrieve the bikes. So far, they have stolen several motorcycles which they have given to the receiving group and their syndicates. The next group in the syndicates is that of Zaudu Inusa, Zaharadin Abdul Karim, and Nankab Ninsa. This group also specializes in the stealing of tricycles that are parked in any place free of supervision and are successfully stolen several motorcycles and tricycles. The last group in the syndicate involved in the stealing of these Tekken Apep and motorcycles in the group of Abdulatif Abdulganiu. And know who Assam. Abdul Latif had been single-handedly stealing bikes before meeting Nobu Assam, who then joined him in carrying out this crime. Okay. 
you are saying, on the other hand, confess to have been caught stealing before, which had led to him being beaten severely, resulting in partial body paralysis. But that did not that does not stop him from committing the same crime a while later. He is so recalcitrant. The rest of the syndicate are the receivers. Receivers are those who only receive stolen items from thieves. These receivers of these stolen bikes are who specialize in taking these stolen items and selling them off to buyers in far distant places like Bombay, Yope, Kano, Kassina, and other places like that. Upon arrest, the actual operative recovered eight motorcycles and eleven tricycles and still counting. Gentlemen of the press, we got intelligence that at night some people will put on black uniform like police with ID card having police logo. They form roadblock or checkpoint, stopping bikes in the process. They snap their bikes. They claim to have seized their bikes for night movement or night wandering, what they call them for Lagos. And they will ask them that if you want to reclaim your bike, go to the nearest police station. Behold, victims will go, they will not see anything. Police have been disturbed. But we gathered the intelligence out of British went straight to Plateau State. They swung into action, picked them. One particular arrest led to all these arrests and recoveries of these stolen items. We went, we went as far as Kano, Gombe and other northern states to go and recover some of these stolen motorcycles and tricycles. We, the, the exhibits are in play too, but the pictures, the pictures are here. You can see what you have recovered from them. I, I am sure I will likely supply you with the soft copy of this, but for you to see. So, photo session, try and supply us with the soft copies of these pictures. So you can see, you can see, spread, spread, spread them. These are the things they have done, and we are still going on with our investigation to recover more. So for those who are, have been robbed in most of the major highways in the two states, please contact our office for possible uh, reclaim of your stolen motorbikes and tricycles. No, so that we can give them back to you. You can contact the IT office. You can use any of our helplines that we have published before now or through our social media platforms to get across to us. We are going to open communication with you and you can reclaim your stolen bikes or tricycle. Um, who will be the all of them are gone at their own level. Syndicate by syndicate. And the, the, the syndicate of receivers. I'm more interested in the syndicate of receivers. Eh? Bring him out here. Eh. Since. Hello, Oga. Hey. I go to read you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is your name? What's your name? Look here. He says his name is Musa Mami. Don't look back. Don't stop. Don't look back. Don't pressure now, sir. Yes, sir. Musa Mami. He says his name is Musa Mami. How old are you? Eh, uh, I'm very old. He said he's 42 years. Where is the uniform? Where do they wear? Oh, God. Oh, sorry. Why, why do you play? Just don't worry. Don't sit there. Sit down. Look at that one. Look at that one. Where are you? Since when you don't buy motorbike for motorcycle for people? Motorcycle where they don't use. So come from. Before. 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 He said he's not up to the year now. How many you know about How many you Why are you here? Let's see, let's see. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yes, yes, okay. He said he bought up to ten of them. How much did you buy? 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 How much did you he said he used to buy around 800 and sold out to men like 900, 800,000 men. He used to sell out up to 1 million dollars. Said his offense is receiving stolen properties. You, you know, thank you, Ivan. You can let them go. You know, the, 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 major, the major issue is we, we are more interested in dealing with receivers. If any, if any thief does not have a receiver, he will not continue that business. So Nigerians should know that receiving stolen items is a criminal offense and is punishable. So if you see people who sell, most of these places we see around us, not open market per se, but they always sell fairly used items. Let us focus on them. Let us touch like them very well because many of them are receivers. And this is a criminal offense. They encourage these criminals to go on the field, to go and rob and bring proceeds of their robbery to them. They are doing, more, doing us more harm than any good. So, Nigerians, I want to appeal to you. Try and always profile your customers where you want to buy items. Many of us we have bought fairly used mobile phones that are stolen property. And once we commence our investigation and we trace this stolen item to you, you are liable under the law. You have degrees of involvement. Some can be treated as innocent buyers, while some are actually real receivers and they are going to be treated as such. There are points to prove all these degrees of involvement. So we want to appeal to you, whatever you want to buy, always know the genuine sources of items you want to buy. If you are not sure, don't buy. If you don't have money to go to any big outlets, shop at shop right or whatever, any commercial center you want to go and buy anything, don't rush to buy those things. Keep your money, have your savings, until you have enough money to go and buy your new ones. Because receiving stolen items is a punishable offense and is criminal indeed. So these ones I'll be receiving again a pep. They'll be receiving bags. You can see, they're going to pay you how much they sell one. And they are buying 900, they will sell this amount. Guilty knowledge. It's one of the points to prove the case of receiving stolen property. When something is sold in the market for one millionaire, and you, you rush to buy because it's a stolen item for almost 50 or 60,000 naira. That is guilty knowledge. So you know. That, that thing is stolen, and you want to buy cheap. That's why you are patronizing a criminal to get these items. So we want our protest to still continue to work on this guy because I know some of them are still going, they are still on the field here. They are on the highways putting on police uniform, black over black, with police shoe black, with police beret black or green or red. You take any cars, 
portray police bad as if our men are the ones robbing computers or road users on the road. So I want to hold the operative to keep watch on people like this and need to move to monitor the activities of some of these individuals. Majorly at night, when we travel along some of these major highways, we need to keep watch on them and very, very sensitive to things like this. And engineers want to urge you when you meet them, call attention to this so they can actually go to check whether they are police officers or original fake officers. Thank you. The next one we have here is the case of unlawful possession of firearms. This case we don't tarry. I just want you to see his face. He's a syndicate. We are using him for you to know we have the syndicates. We we worked hand in hand with the office. That's all right there. With the office of the National Security Advisor, the intelligence unit there worked with IRT to intercept these people who are actually into the dirty deals of gun running, sales of arms and ammunition, and what have you. He, we have been able to recover some items from them. We have one AK 47 rifle recovered from them. The, uh, they came to purchase the rifle in 2021 at the sum of one million euro. Uh, and we, we, like I said, we have others that we are still trying to work on. I just want you to see Doug Tari Mill. He is 53 years. I want journalists to know. And we, we want to commend the efforts of our men and appreciate the effort of the Office of the National Security Advisor. Uh, those who actually worked with IRT, it is always good to work together to collaborate and share information. That's why we've been able to to get these these elements who have been causing problem uh, for us in Nigeria. Uh, we are going to come back to revisit this case when we finish completely. I don't want us to interrogate this man for now because. It's a case of national and international interest that we're still working on. So, Mr. Don Butari, go back to our five star hotel. <laughs> we are going to feel comfortable and make sure you cooperate with our waiters. I will come and attend to you and give you your needs according to your request. In that case, kidnapping and robbery by Damasi Dubri, 29 years old. Where is he? This case is another very funny case. Betrayal of trust, friends walking together, rearing cows, selling cows, but you are going to hear the story. Very funny. The suspect is a cattle art man located in Tarawa State, alongside his cousin named Garba. But Amasi had seven cows while Garba had 87 cows. A while later, Garba left for Boracos, River State. And before leaving, he entrusted his cattle in possession of Baramosi. Later on, Gamba called Baramosi to sell 34 cows and sent the proceeds to him, to which Baramosi complied. After that, every effort Gamba had made to contact Baramosi proved abortive. This prompted Gamba to send one Naziru male to go to Taraba State to locate Baramosi. And possibly to ask for his money. Upon Nasinu's arrival at Tarawa State, one of Badamasi's friends, identified as Sule, called and informed Badamasi of Nasinu's presence and his mission, and also suggested to Badamasi that they kidnap Nasinu. Badamasi agreed to this, and Nasinu was later abused by two bikes conveying three handmen each and was subsequently abducted or kidnapped. The abductors collected the sum of 2.8 million naira, the money they found of uh, Nasir at that spot, and released him to Badamasi, who still kept him in custody. Gamba then contacted the community head who spoke to Badamasi and made him release Nasir and three of Gamba's cows. The operatives 
Are still currently intensifying efforts to locate other suspects involved in the kidnapping and bring them to book. This is the Badamasi. This is the Badamasi. He betrayed his friend, friend going to Boracot, and trusted him with the cows, 87 cows. Sent 34 for me and sent money. Badamasi, no grief. He no grief. The Garba from Porako sent Nasiru, his brother, to go and meet them in Tanaba. And they are in kidnapping. So they still collected 2 point something million naira from the side of uh, Garuba and Nasiru now, before they could release. But they involved the community uh, eggs before uh, Badamasi would release Nasiru to Garuba. And it's just to show that in security circle, you don't trust anybody that comes your way. You must be very careful in dealing with people. It's quite unfortunate that Garba is a friend to, to Badamosi, but Badamosi uh, betrayed the trust Garba had in him. So they, they used to be friends. I'm sure they can't be friends again now. Badamosi? Have you Badamosi? I'm with this now. Have you been masculine? I Oh, yeah, that's it. He said his name is Badamasi. He said he's 29 years old. Where is he from? He said he came from Tarawa State. What's your business? What do you do for a living? We are key on the corner. We are key on the corner. He says he's a Ketura Yara and family. Who is Badamasi? No. Yeah, I mean, say he's a brother to me. Brother? Is your father the same brother? Uh, he said no, different terms. But from the same village? Yeah. Uh, yes, he said they are from the same village. He asked you to, to sell that house for him. Did you sell the house? <laughs> He said he was the one that said you should sell and send the money to him. Can you send the money to him? Can you send the money to him? He said he has done so. How much? How much did he send to him? He said he has done so. 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 He said he only used BOS to send the money to him. Why did he kidnap Nasiru? He said he's not the one that kidnapped Nasiru, but there is somebody who sold the cow to him. He said, who is going in? His name is Suli. She knew if he was going to be the police, she knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. She knew if he was going to be the police. He said he arrested the Nasser and brought him to one uh, group called committee. When he heard that he arrested him, he only informed the district head that he was arrested. We we'll continue our investigation on this, but Garba has told the police what has passed. Now that he's claiming that he has sent money to Garba, I think the investigation continues so that they will clarify that one for us. The next one is still receiving stolen items. We have a level suspect here. Another receiving stolen items.
And I'm not a woman, Gaji. Let them come out. Mamma Ibrahim, Mikhail Bello, Bello Lawa, Musa Fausman, Ibrahim Mandulai, Rabiu Ibrahim, Rabiu Saldu, Ahmad Mukta, Nora Sulaiman, Udu Hadro. Operative of the IRT acting on credible intelligence in the Guarimpa area of the Federal Capital Territory arrested the above listed suspects who are a group of refuse to metal scavengers. This group specializes in visiting construction sites and stealing metals and rocks used in the construction. They will then hide these valuable metals and rocks underneath the refuse dump and smuggle them to sell to partakers. Partakers. There's a place they sell something like that. Plenty. Plenty. They are also involved in receiving and selling stolen electrical products and household appliances. I, I want us to take note of this case. Most of our estates have been complaining against some of these individuals without any ethnic coloration. That when they come in, they pick stuff, and you think they are doing their normal business, fine, any Nigerian is free to move anywhere. But now we have noticed that some of them always pick and steal people's property. You can see this case now, they will hide them under their refuge. Later they will go and excavate them and sell to partakers who are everywhere in Abuja and in most of our urban centers. We want to urge people to please take note of this. Let's keep watch, watch on them so that we will not continue to experience this kind of a thing from these young individuals. For how long have they been living in Abuja? There's one they call AK Soja. We got T. There's one AK Soja. Who's a false man? Eh? You be soja? Why? Why? How you going to call yourself soja? You impersonate. Why? For people to fear you. To fear you. Ah. <laughs> My name is Mr. Wilson. Give a mic, you can speak. My name is Mr. Wilson. Yeah, from from where? From this side of the world. Yes. How old are you? 22 years. Oh, ah. 22 years. Okay, what brought you here today? They have arrested me. They have arrested me. They have arrested me. They have arrested me. They have arrested Chosa Kamu, which of the which which Chosa Kamu, police or army? Yes, sir, army. Yes, which belong to my father. How did you get it? Belong to my father. Your father is a super man. Is he here? Yes, sir. Is he alive? Yes, sir. Is he I take it. For yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The father, your father, your father. How long have you been doing this business? Why should you take your boss to the service? Your father still in service. Your father still in service. No. Yes. What have you been done doing with the uniform? No, I raised it inside my room. I'm not just one of it. I'm not one of it. But you call yourself soldier. That's why they call you soldier. Why? Why did you choose the name soldier? And you are not a soldier. No. The time they arrested me, they have already called. They have called the police to come and arrest me. So, how many of you are printing on this? Yes, I know that they are arrested. Yes, for supply, they can trace the anything. Are you not uh, part of the Bababula? 
They are looking up to the one up to the one people. The two Huh? Who's the person who is here? Yes, sir. What's your What do you do for a living? Uh, listen, what do you do for a living? I used to buy food and sell it. Buy what? Phones and sell it. Stolen food? No, 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 no. We are still coming back to the same story of the same stolen items. You can see he's a son of a retired officer and he picked the Baba's uniform without the father's consent. So some of us are officers. Let's always keep some things away from our children. And let us tell them the implication of those things. Me and I need to go and tell my children, don't touch my accoutrement or my uniform or my cap. It is not for you. The boy has just stolen his father's uniform. Put it at home, but I'm sure he must have been using the uniform because he has christened himself soldier. So that uniform will go with the nickname, and I'm sure he must have been the people around that place. Most of is doing that business, selling foods, receiving items. Anyway, we'll continue our investigations, but the fact is, we are not saying it should be cruel or wicked to people who are doing this business genuinely, but we need to be very careful when you see them. Uh, like a case in Lagos, we are investigating that case now, that the day some people like this went to that compound, they removed AC panels. All the split AC panels in the, in the compound were taken away. And they were recovering them one by one from people like that in Lagos too. So we need to be careful. We need to keep watch of them. But I'm not saying you should, you should be cruel to them. There are those that are out there to do their genuine businesses. But for those who are doing otherwise, we can teach them. Subject them to the rot of the law. But don't take laws into your hand. How about the case of Amro Bin Nasuru? How about the name of the Sani Ibrahim, Salmano Abubaka. Wait, 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 wait. Don't bring them here. Don't bring them here. No, who asked me what? I will swallow you. Because of the rain. It's almost a fresh case. We got a break through this morning. I but they are there want to have their, they have covered their faces. The investigation into this matter is still on. IRT operatives arrested this very can't tell them this morning. It was a serious fierce gun battle between our men and these ones. Um we are working on more information to still break the syndicate properly. But we have three of them here. Uh, can I show you the next time we want to meet? The case must have been a very ripe case for proper press briefing. But it's part of what I'm doing today. The names are here. I'm going to give you the soft copy of my rental so you can have it. That's what I said. We had information is even reaching me now that possibly uh, one of them sustained fatal uh, bullet wound that is still receiving treatment and whatever it is but the fact is that we are able our men were careful enough just someone sustained just minor injury in the course of the operation but we are giving kudos to them for accepting these young ones most of these people are deadly they are very young they are, they are very deadly but we are going to give you more uh, details about the operation and this achievement as soon as possible. I want to say, gentlemen of the press, we want to reassure the general public of our unalloyed strategic drives to effectively police this our dear country, Nigeria, and reduce crime rates to its barest minimum across the country. We therefore seek more cooperation and support by all means. From citizens of this country, with a view to having a more secure society, we have peace and justice shall reign. Gentlemen of the press, thank you so much for your time. We want to thank God too for giving us this period to have very nice weather.
You talk to God and He listen to us. Our God is able. Get to pen of the press. Thank you for coming. Let me show you one thing before you leave. The, the, those that are being modularly proved for us, they should just try and fortify them the more. Now they use dark to create openings through our windows and they gain access to our houses. We need to be more careful. These are the doors that our team men mop up in furtherance of the IDP's directive to go and mop up these visit hams and ammunition from our circulation. You can see them. This is special. This one was recovered from that, that governor and his team. This is okay for tonight. You can see all legs at the moment. Okay for tonight. If you find somebody, you know that you need to use the all to stop and took out that. You can see. You don't know the difference. Um, the networks, you don't know the difference between 49 and, and 47. 47. This is 49. Oh, I don't forget to say you are once. Uh, is it war zone? It's not war zone, but they want to turn it to no good for anybody. So you can see, recover from them. Just imagine this on a rapid. Anyway, I read the face now. They use these ones. No, they fake. And you can go see Nigeria police. Everybody they use policemen. You want to use our name? You are name for good thing, please. Don't use our name for crimes and criminality. And you can even sign any card to receive Nigerians as a policeman and you are robbing them. Stop painting our image. Police officers are not bad people, are not criminals. But in most cases, you see some of the stories you read online. Police have done this, police have done that. Many of them are fake. They love our uniform, they love our government, they love our etiquette, they love the names, but they use our names and our materials in the wrong ways. Mm. Please stop denting the image of the force. We are not criminals. For those who do, those who sell our uniforms to them, those who sell our government to them, a day to be for you, they are going to be caught. It's a criminal offense to be in possession of our uniform. And accountment or the uniform of any security agency in Nigeria. The military, the armed forces, other security forces, it is criminal to be in possession of their uniform. Once you are not a member of that security agency, it's a crime. So stop using our name wrongly and stop using our materials wrongly. You can see these Jesus and the armor. They use this one to break into people's houses. Those who are, that belong to the gold cartel, they are the ones using them. That six leg They use this one to break. And then they use this, this dark, put it between the, the roads of burglary proof, and they will roll as if they are jacking. And you know the pressure will come and create opening for them to go into people's houses. So if you think your window is so fortified, it's another thing. Your weapons to go and do more and fortify your burglary group very, very well. For Abuja residents, we, we arrested them in Abuja, federal capital territory. So our leaders, our community leaders of various estates, take note of this. Fortify the internal security mechanism of your estates. We will always be there to give you support. All community leaders to work. Estate managers work with your DPOs. These are the closest people to you. Work with them. Together, we can do it. Uh, today, I think this is the first time we are not recovering drugs. Maybe our campaign is working and is paying off. Stop misuse of drugs and abuse of drugs. You can see we have not recovered today. Maybe people are changing, <laughs> changing for good. They don't want to be consuming drugs again. But generally, we will continue in our effort to make sure we mop up some of this house and we will continue to talk to those who fabricate uh, guns locally to stop being so. Uh, we appeal to all of you, gentlemen and the press, thank you so much. Thanks for coming.
Thank you, the rest of your day.